Is Kuna, Idaho a good place to live? You should watch this video because a lot of people who travel here from out of state think they want something like Meridian, Eagle, or Star, but then end up finding they want something else once they get here. Hey, I am Craig Flood and I am your guide to relocating to Idaho. In today's video, I'm gonna give you guys a driving tour of Kuna, Idaho. I will show you what the drive looks like from Interstate 84 all the way down to Kuna. You'll get to see what some of the businesses are out there and what downtown looks like. And I'll show you some of the schools and we'll jump into some neighborhoods and show you some current homes that are for sale. And by the end of this video, my goal is that you guys will have a really good understanding of Kuna and be able to decide if it's gonna be a good fit for you. And be sure to stick around till the end because I have a very interesting story about this house right here and it may affect when you decide to buy. All right guys, so I wanna show you what the drive is like. This is essentially a Meridian Road. This takes us straight out to Cuna from Interstate 84 and we're heading south. So we're heading south or down away from Meridian. This is one of the main roads out there. As you can see right now, it is five lanes across, but something interesting about being in Cuna is that you are, you are far away from things. You can see that as a positive or a negative. Uh, but something you'll notice out here is that the roads out in this direction and a lot of other areas in the valley, it's just one big grid, right? And a lot of times there are stop signs, not lights like you see coming up here, but a lot of times there are stop signs and you can be like the 10th car back on a stop sign and you're just surrounded by fields. And so if infrastructure is something you're looking for, you'll quickly find out that maybe we're not suited for a ton of traffic. So if you have a lot of people trying to get out of CUNA, or maybe you work down by the city and you're trying to get back into CUNA, you can find that it's kind of a pain in the butt. Now driving around CUNA, it's a small town, not a ton of people, and so it's not that bad, but definitely getting out of it, you can just run into kind of bottleneck situations. And again, this is quite the image here, but you have, you have open fields off to your right, and that's kind of exactly what happens out here. You'll have a farmer sell off some land, and then you'll have a land developer buy that land and develop just a whole swath of homes for you guys. And you'll notice it's a lot flatter out here. So we're heading south. We're heading away from the Boise foothills. And I know a lot of people, when they come, some of them have the desire of where they want to see hills or they want to be closer to the foothills, not only for the beauty of it, but also for the fact that it gets you closer to the trail system and mountain biking and some of the rivers that are out there, like the Boise River being one of them. And so when you're thinking about CUNA, that might be a downside for you of saying, man, I don't really want to live that far away from things, specifically those things. And so that will probably then push you closer to Meridian or Boise or Eagle or Star. So now we're starting to hit CUNA. I know you guys can't see it that well, but off to my right is a bunch of corn. But then on the other side of that corn are some housing developments. And these are new construction. The addresses are CUNA. And at this point, we're just a few minutes away from downtown CUNA. And now as we're coming in, we have a gas station off to our right. We also have a buy mart. Off to our left, we have a primary health care. We got stove and fireplace, CapEd, which is a credit union here in town. D&B Supply, which you'll see a ton of throughout the Treasure Valley. Think gosh, all sorts of things like car hearts and dog stuff, uh, more car heart stuff. I think I bought some things, some tree fertilizers, uh, these little spikes that you drive into the ground out of the premier tree to kind of help them grow, but lots of, lots of different things out here. And then we got Ridley's, which is the family market. It's a grocery store. And then off to our right, we also have a Starbucks and Ace Hardware, McDonald's, Great Clips, Deluxe Dental, and Idaho Central. Uh, Idaho Central is the bank that I use for personal and business, and I've really enjoyed using them. They have great, they have a great mobile app, and they I definitely would recommend them if you guys are looking for a new bank because I know there's lots of things to do. Also over here we have Tractor Supply, Shucks O'Reilly's, Dollar Tree. On our left we got Big Smoke. They got ice cold beer and cigarettes. We got Les Schwab. We got Domino's. On our left again we have a Walgreens. On our right we got the first Interstate Bank. We have a subway, the post office, a small little strip here to my right. It's got a liquor store, H&R Block, Pride Martial Arts, Albertson's Gas.
down to the downtown strip right here. So again, off to the left, that is the water tower right there with a beautiful park and some good trees for shade. And you'll notice that downtown, uh, lots of American flags. Off to our right, we have the light posts uh, with Cunin downtown signs with the American flag on them. Off to our right also is Zamzow's, left is Nampa. Zamzow is a great place. You'll find it all over the Treasure Valley. It's all gonna be about kind of your yard and pets. So they have some great uh, fertilizer programs that you could use for your grass here and or get things for your pup. Then we got a gas station, but really nice kind of quaint old downtown. It's three lanes, really nice sidewalks, really easy to walk. All right, now that you guys have seen downtown, we're gonna jump a little north of downtown and I'm gonna show you some of the schools and some of the neighborhoods with some homes for sale. But before we jump to that, let me know in the comment section what you guys think of CUNA so far. Is this a place that you could live? And also, I see some of you out there, you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet. And if you're interested in all things Idaho, what it's like to live, work, eat, sleep, and play here, and what real estate is like, then be sure to subscribe so that you can get notified every week I post new content. All right, now that we've seen the downtown area, let's go ahead and cut back and look at some schools. So the first one we're gonna check out is Fremont Middle School. And right next to Fremont Middle School is Hubbard Elementary. This is Hubbard Elementary School right in front of me. And then just to the left here is Fremont Middle School. And now let's jet over and check out CUNA High School, which is just across the road. And here we are at CUNA High School. And it looks like we made it just in time for the band practice. Now that we've looked at the schools, let's jump across the street into some of the neighborhoods so that you can see what they look like. And we'll also check out some current houses that are for sale. So in here you have a canal with a beautiful walking path next to it. You have a player area, multiple play areas for kids. You've got a community pool as well. And in here, you're gonna get a variety of homes, two stories, one stories, two car garages, three car garages. And up around the corner, we're going to have a home that is for sale. It's going to be a 4-3, 2,400 square feet, currently listed at 579 with a price cut of 6000 And it was built in 2022. So if you're looking for new homes and you don't want to deal with everything that comes along with buying an older home, moving out to Kuna could be a great option for you. And obviously, you're going to find new construction almost everywhere in the Treasure Valley. Uh, but out here, you'll definitely find large master plan communities like we have here. And that house for sale is gonna be right here. All right, guys, I just have to tell you this right now. So I recorded this clip that you're seeing six days ago. And even then, this specific house, the price had dropped. And now, as I'm making this film today and posted it today, you're seeing that the price dropped another $30,000 off the original price of the original price. And this isn't the only house you're going to see like this. There are other houses you're going to see that have also dropped in price in the last six days. And this is what your takeaway should be from this. Right now, interest rates are high. A lot of you are not buying homes because you're waiting for the interest rates to drop. If you wait for the interest rates to drop, there are going to be a lot more buyers in the market, which is going to drive up prices and increase the competitiveness to buy a home. It's going to keep it as a seller's market. Now, let's just say that you do choose to buy right now. A couple things to consider. Yes, interest rates are high compared to what they've been in the last two years. They're not that high compared to what they've been in the last 30 years. If you buy now, there's less competition. If the rates go down, you can always refinance to a lower rate. If the rates go up, great, you locked in a 6 or a 7% interest rate. But here's one more thing, a big thing that is a benefit to you if you're a buyer in today's market, and that's negotiation. This is a great time to negotiate. You see that prices are dropping, and so it's a great time for you to come in and get a really good real estate agent, give me and my team a call, and we will go in and negotiate hard for you. This is a perfect time where the seller is gonna be motivated to negotiate. So it's a beautiful day here in Idaho. The date of this recording is Thursday, August 10th. Right now it's 11 o'clock and it's about 74 degrees outside and sunny. Now again, you're kind of seeing directly in front of us 
houses butted up right against cornfields. And I'm sure one day you'll come out here, those cornfields will be gone and you'll find more houses. And I know some of you guys are wanting to move out to Idaho to be close to the outdoors. So one thing I can just let you know, I am actually taking my 10 year old son for his birthday. I'm gonna take him rafting down the Paya River and it's gonna be a lot of fun. We're gonna camp out on the river, do some fishing and just give him a chance to experience some of what Idaho has to offer. So coming up on our left again, we're gonna have another house for sale currently listed at $482,000. So it's a price cut of 20,000. So this is gonna be a four bedroom, three baths, 2,300 square feet. This home was built in 2018 and it's gonna be this home just to our left with this Ford Ranger parked in front and you'll see it has a three car garage. And the HOAs here in this neighborhood are gonna be $31 a month. And that home was on a roughly 6,000 square foot lot. And up here, coming up on our left, is another home currently for sale, listed at 525,000. Four bedroom, three bath, 2,600 square feet. And that's gonna be that house right in front of us there, 771. This home has HOAs, $27 a month, and it was built in 2021. But great quiet neighbors back here, good access to paths, sidewalks. If you got kids, great for them to be running around on, keeping them off the main streets. All right, here we are coming into Timber Mist, and you'll see right away, same thing. We got a play area. We have a community pool. Having a community pool is really nice because, again, it does get hot here, and it is great to be able to get access to a pool that maybe isn't super crowded like a public pool, and it's a great opportunity to get to know some of your neighbors. So coming up on our right down the street here, we have another house listed at 469. It's a three bedroom, two bath, 1600 square feet. Built in 2016 and the HOAs in this community are $49. And that's gonna be a house listed right here on our right. Nice single level compared to those last homes. I know some of you guys are looking to get into a house without stairs, something a little bit smaller and doing some downsizing. And again, the house just to our left on this corner up here is listed at 549. It's a four bedroom, three bath, 2,400 square feet. This home was built in 2016. Again, the HOA is here, $51 a month. Now, a few days ago when I recorded driving by this house, the price was 549,000, but now you're seeing it as 539. And you're also seeing that it's not showing that there was a price cut, even though there was. And here we are turning into Denali. And currently in here, there are two homes listed at about the million dollar mark. And this home that I'm going to show you guys is listed at $1,024,000, just shy of $25,000 at the moment. Also, it's had a price cut of $20,000, and the HOAs in this neighborhood are $42 a month, and this home was built in 2004, and it's sitting on one acre. And so, obviously, you can kind of see the trees are a bit more mature in this neighborhood, and the lots are a lot larger. There, that house right in front of us has a detached garage, and the home that for sale is directly in front of us. And again, this is right at 1 million, 20, 20,000. This is a five bedroom, four bath, 4,400 square foot lot. You see here that this house also had quite a big price cut in the last couple days. And as I've said before, Kuna is a great little town, especially for somebody who, who kind of maybe likes Boise and what it has and the green belt and the river, but just doesn't want to live in that big of a town. Kuna is kind of like a miniature version. It's got a lot smaller town, obviously less amenities, but everything's really close. You have Indian Creek that rolls through and you have a similar kind of green belt that rolls through as well. And so it could be a really good option if maybe Boise or some of the other cities don't feel like a great fit. Cuna might be the right thing for you. Okay, so up on our right, we're coming up in a house that's listed just shy of a million, 970,000. It's a five bedroom, four bath, 4,000 square feet right here on our left. And this home was built in 2011. Again, HOAs are $46 and it's on 0.4 of an acre. And that is the house right there for you guys. So even though the listing does not show it, this house has had a $25,000 price cut in the last couple days. So if you're looking for a guide to help you relocate to Idaho, then reach out. You can call, text, or email days, nights, or weekends. If you enjoyed this video on CUNA, Idaho, be sure to check out last week's video where I did more of an overview of CUNA, where we talked about some of the housing market, the school ratings, and just overall what it might be like for you to live there.